uh, when they come to underground. Most of the shops are closed, and uh, and what do you tell them about it? Well, we mentioned the reconstruction of the rapid rail system, and that's one reason underground is deteriorating right now, it's because of that factor. But in the next three years, after they finish Mata, it'll be coming back to life. We're praying, crossing our fingers, that it'll happen like that. That's the reason why underground is down now, because of all the construction. Why do you want it to come back? I like it. It's history. It's a part of the city. This is where we started from. And when you when people come down here and all the shops are closed, you tell them that that uh, this is temporary. This is only a temporary thing. And you have to remember, we wanted to have 150 different shops at one time. Right now, there's only about 33, maybe 35 different establishments. But they'll come back shortly. What do people think about it? Well, they like it, but it's nothing to do right now. You have only a few places like Dante's, Down the Hat, Scarlet O'Hara, and all the few souvenir shops, but that's it. How about in 10 years now? And you used to really have something to think about. Oh, yes, about four or five years ago was out of the side. As soon as we have some more businesses, people will come back. Yeah, I think responsibility to put something back into the society they live in. The city. Dante, underground has come to the point this winter where you guys are probably, it's worse than it's ever been. You're the last of the great optimists out here um, that something can be done for underground. What are you doing right now? And I not only believe it, it can be done, it has to be done. And what kind of a, a plan do you have in mind? Well, we need to attract quality businesses back to underground. We don't have as many as we used to, and we don't have enough. 
we need to reassure the public that the fact that we have the lowest crime rate rate in the city is in fact a fact uh, we need to recreate something for the family and we're already in the process of designing and building a fireman's museum or with a museum with old firefighting equipment and now that the Bailey building has been removed we want to build uh, a larger railroad museum in the f old freight depot that happens to be the oldest building in the city uh, it is never going to be torn down it is a beautiful building it's now uncovered now we can do something with it you obviously do have a big investment here but, but why does Dante Stevenson stay in underground Atlanta and is there any chance you're going to pull out President Carl Ware and Fulton County Commissioner Michael Lomax have both agreed to serve on the new historic Atlanta Development Corporation. This corporation is now in line for federal money to help revive underground Atlanta. Sharon McClama, Action News. Okay. I know you have an investment in underground, but, but it is dying why do you stay in underground is there any chance that you're at the point where you're going to pull out that's the reality I have to accept yes there is a point at which I would pull out uh, on the other hand uh, there's a very basic principle in this nation and one of the reasons why the nation is great and I want to be a part of that downtown Atlanta is important to all of us regardless where we live I'm a downtown fighter have always been will always be I also believe that successful people have an obligation to give something back. And one of the things that I can give back is to try to make underground work. If that fails, yes, then I'll move, move somewhere else. Is there a chance it could fail soon? Yes. Uh, it's going to take intense coordination of a lot of different units of all levels of government. What we have put together is a joint public-private enterprise commission as of right now, everybody's very supportive. But as of right now, we have no dollars. I mean, it's going to take money to make it work. So we have to look to the government. So I have to look to the government? I also don't want the other media people to pick up on what does he mean by that. I mean, decide when you look involved in it or not, that in itself can be a very valuable 15-minute segment. I don't know if, if the station even does that kind of segments. Uh, just as uh, when we closed the topless club, judge. It, it's so simple that nobody realizes it. And that's what we did. All merchants got together and we made a new uh, It started with a psychic. Psychic said, put some credence in what psychic say. He said, you know, you haven't urban mass transit would like to be part of urban renewal, HUD. But HUD doesn't want them to be. They want them just to build highways. Five, four, three. A new plan to save underground Atlanta. I'm Sharon McClemma. I'll have details. Five, four, three. A new plan to save underground Atlanta that involves two key city officials. I'm Sharon McClemma. I'll have details. Council President Carl Ware and Fulton County Commissioner Michael Lomax have both agreed to serve on the new historic Atlanta Local Development Corporation. Through this corporation, they're going to apply for a grant from the Urban Mass Transportation Administration to get money to come up. City Council President 